Okay, today we're out here with our Dutch Beaumont. What I got today is a little cut down one. Somebody did. And as usual, they took a pristine example and sawed the barrel off. So, and this is also the one we did the muzzle crowning video on. So this is the one we had to straighten up the muzzle in. So I'm going to put a few rounds down range just to see where it shoots. I am suspicious that because the barrel's cut and it has a homemade front sight on there that this isn't going to kind of work out. So let me load her up and we'll give it a try. I've had this gun for quite a quite a few years. Never fired it. It's got a perfect bore on take a break and see what happened. Okay, what went wrong? That screw right there that holds the bolt together backed out and just when I fired it, pulled it out, the bolt head stayed in and the rest of the bolt come out of the gun. So, mag cutoff works. So now we're going to resume our shooting. Picture. Alright, here we go. Okay, magazine cut off. Huh? Alright, we're back in the game. Looks like the light's shut. Yep, the light's shut. So that's where you gotta be careful with these old guns. You gotta clean them, tune them up, like this one here. Well, we'll go down and take a look at the target and see how these, where these sights are shooting at. Okay, aiming on the center of this lower target. We shot very well. We're on center, windage wise, but a little high. In my estimation, about 12 inches high. So that homemade sight is a little on the short side. So. Since it's non-standard and that, I should be able to build up or do something to that blade to make it a little higher or make a new sight. I think that thing's dovetailed in there. So that's what we did with the little short one, but pretty damn good group. Okay, so it shoots well. We just got to adjust the sights. Now we'll go. I brought another one. I'm going to try it out and see how it does. <laughs> 